Okay, so Garrett Crochet made his uh, big league debut last night. Um, if you're anybody that follows baseball, follows the White Sox, knows anything about absolute phenoms coming up, you'll know that this guy is special. In a weird year in 2020, no, uh, no minor league season, Garrett Crochet um, didn't pitch a single pitch in the minor leagues because there was no minor leagues so they called him up straight to the big leagues because he's got tweeners just kidding because he's got 101 miles an hour in the tank lefty so absolute stud um i wanted to do this breakdown because there's a couple things that he does within the delivery um you're going to notice the the hand path and the arm action um kind of goes with what i I talk about what I teach a lot of the times with the simplification of the path. Um, and he's also going to showcase, you know, perceived not great drive leg mechanics. So we're going to dive right into it. And why do I say not great? Because as you see, he comes down from this, this leg lift, high leg kick there, keeps the hands high and boom. So, <laughs> What do we see, right? So not a whole lot of, of activation there in that drive leg. You're actually going to see the, the heel come up. Um, you, there's a video I did on, on uh, the heel disconnection thing and, and what it actually means. And you're, you're basically going to see his momentum um, coming down from peak leg lift carry him this way. So if you guys have watched me throw um, on a mound, just on a flat ground, whatever, this is very similar to how I am. So the back knee is gonna dictate like that direction, right? So we're gonna see this kind of direction here, but I want you to notice how he, he counters that. So first and foremost, you have the foundation of athleticism. Okay, he's an extremely athletic dude, um, and he's, he's got re he can repeat this and be fine. So as his direction goes that way, you're also gonna notice the posture of his hips, right? So say, you know, his hips are, are right here. There's going to be no point in which those hips are going to elevate. They're actually going to continuously match slope, which is, I've talked about that multiple times, how hip mechanics can tell us a lot about just using your, your legs efficiently. Now, as he goes down, you're going to see those hips. Now that knee is going to crack forward. And then this is where it gets interesting because again, we have to take into consideration that the angle of this video, so that the broadcast view, it's gonna be a little skewed because it's off, right? So now watch how that front foot is gonna open. Now the hips begin to open and you're, I mean, shoot, this is pretty dang apparent, right? Think about the hitter. What is he seeing? At what point does the, the, the hand come out of the, the glove hand? And now where's that hand? in relation to what the hitter can see, not seeing that at all, right? So he's, he's kind of counter-rotated over here, the trunk. So now as he separates the hands, that hand is, is rarely, it's not going to go behind. So you can't see the ball still. Get Initiates that retraction with the elbow. Remember how I talked about that in the previous video I did on, I um, can't remember. <laughs> But you can just see, just by the way his, his uniform is, this, right? So you can see that rotational energy as he opens up that front hip. Boom, now he comes down. I mean, look at where he is positioned, okay? So the hand just begun its ascend as the foot is now anchoring down. So... Velocity enhancing move, I've talked about that a lot, how extremely high power output throwers have this commonality. So boom, you anchor down, you create that stretch, and now you release. So the trunk rotation coming through is gonna get into a deeper amount of layback there. And then pretty dang good finish. All right, so you have your lower half going while you have your upper half going the opposite. See this move here. So watch the 
you can actually see this posture of the knee folding inward. Then you can see the posture of the elbow initiating your retraction, right? So what does that do? See how your center is creating this effect? Now, once you create that effect, it, your job's not done because you gotta make sure your timing is, is right as you anchor down. So you gotta make sure you're anchoring down at this time that this hand's coming up or else the trunk's gonna start leaking. Okay, if the trunk starts leaking, then, then we're, we're leaking a ton of power. But um, he does an incredible job of, of making sure that that timing is sensational. So now we're gonna take you to a different view. This is a pretty good indication of the athleticism. So you have the leg lift, keeps the hands high, separates, keeps the, the hand inside his body. Now you have glove side extension. And now as he tucks, you're gonna see the equal opposite effect, right? So whatever the glove hand does, throwing arm does, whatever the throwing arm does, glove hand does. And now the hand's gonna flip up, glove hand's gonna come down. Boom. Slam his door shut. Boom. Watch him finish here. Energy behind the baseball. Wham. Pretty dang impressive. One more view. So I know in the back view, it didn't look like he was gaining any momentum, but this is a really good indication here as he lifts his leg, watch his, his posture. See, I was kind of initiating that forward momentum. He's kind of got that D train. Shout out Dontrell. The head's gonna initiate his forward momentum. So watch his head come down. So now as the head comes down, he's gonna match with added acceleration of his whole entire body. So now, boom, you catch back up. So this is interesting because remember how I talked about this in the Giolito Bieber video? Um, I'll be, I encourage you guys to check that out. So he knows that his path of his hands is gonna be simplistic. It's gonna be very easy to initiate acceleration with your body because your hands don't have a whole complicated path to, to get it to. So he's actually able to d delay that hand separation. So see how he can delay, 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 and now, boom, okay, we separate. And it's like, okay, that's where we are. All right, so you can see that that front foot opening up. He's got a little crossfire. He's got to open up that front foot. Now, you're also going to notice his pelvis is staying locked in. And then, wham, so as soon as this guy hammers home down, Boom, that front foot's gonna anchor. Notice where his hand posture is. So his trunk, oh, we're drawing too many circles here. So his trunk is actually extremely counter-rotated. And then this is coming in. His trunk's, not, his trunk's gonna actually stay in, in that neutral position until this guy goes, whoop, whoop. And then this guy goes, whoop, 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 whoop. And then, whoop, boom. So now look at the amount of force he has into anchor point. Okay, and why I say that is because initiated forward momentum, delayed the hand. Now, as he's coming down, look how much of his body is accelerating down the slope. We talked about those hips, we talked about the hips matching the angle of the slope. Now we're efficiently writing that down. And we're as we come into that anchor point, that's going to give us a really good indication of how much force we actually have into that. So now as he anchors down, look at how his body I mean, that's pretty dang impressive. Now all we gotta do is make sure that we have the lead leg stability. Trunk pulls through, trunk rotates, pulls the arm through, late launch, chest, front of the lead knee, good drag. Now as he goes into ball release here, you're gonna see Dude's got a freaking bright future. Impressive, fun to watch. 
Um, encourage you guys to check out if you if you want more information on on this hand path and this arm action. I have a full ebook on it, throwing mechanics ebook. It'll be the link will be in the description below. Um, and if you want your own analysis, if you want if you want your mechanics analyzed, um, I'll include the link to that below as well. All right, um, Garrett Crochet, bright bright future. My name's Robert Rowland, and I approve this message. God bless. Enjoy your day. Bye.